What happens if you jumped into Lake Natron? Lake Natron, located in northern Tanzania near the Kenyan border, is a captivating and dangerous wonder of nature. Surrounded by the Rift Valley's arid and volcanic landscape, the lake's shimmering red and orange surface may seem inviting, but its waters conceal a hazardous and otherworldly environment. This shallow, hypersaline soda lake harbors extreme conditions that make it hostile to most forms of life. If you were to jump into Lake Natron, the experience would be far from typical, and potentially life-threatening. The chemistry of Lake Natron Lake Natron's chemistry is the result of its geographical location. The lake sits at the base of the old Doinio Lengai volcano, an active stratovolcano known for its unique carbonatite lava. Over millennia, volcanic ash from the region has contributed to the lake's high concentrations of sodium carbonate, natron, and other minerals. The evaporation of water under the region's scorching heat causes the alkaline levels to spike, resulting in water with a pH level as high as 12, similar to ammonia or bleach. Temperatures in the lake can reach up to 60 degrees Celsius, 140 degrees Fahrenheit, during the hottest months, making it one of the hottest and most alkaline bodies of water on Earth. The unique combination of heat, alkalinity, and mineral content gives the lake its caustic and soda-like qualities. What would happen if you jumped in? Jumping into Lake Natron would expose your body to a highly corrosive environment, both chemically and thermally. Here's what you could expect to happen, upon entering the water, your body would immediately experience thermal shock from the high temperatures, which could cause your muscles to contract involuntarily, potentially leading to cramps or difficulty moving. The sensation would be like jumping into a scalding hot bath, but without the ability to control your immersion. 2. Chemical burns and skin reactions Lake Natron's water would quickly start reacting with the oils and proteins on your skin. Sodium carbonate is highly caustic, and even brief contact with the water could lead to chemical burns, particularly in sensitive areas such as your eyes, nostrils, lips, and open wounds. Over time, exposure to the water could break down the fatty acids in your skin, causing irritation, rashes, and peeling. If you remained in the lake for a prolonged period, the burning sensation could worsen, resulting in more severe tissue damage. Swallowing even small amounts of the water could lead to severe internal burns and damage to your digestive system. 3. Effects on eyes and respiratory system The most immediate danger, besides skin burns, would be to your eyes and respiratory system. The high pH levels could cause intense stinging, and irritation if the water splashed into your eyes. In extreme cases, it could lead to corneal damage or even blindness, if left untreated. Breathing in the gases emitted from the lake's surface could also pose serious risks. The air near the lake often contains hydrogen sulfide, a toxic gas that can irritate the lungs, causing coughing, choking, and respiratory distress, especially when inhaled in large amounts. This gas often forms from the decaying matter in the shallow, stagnant waters of the lake. 4. Calcification and mummification Prolonged exposure to the lake's alkaline water has the potential to cause severe mineral encrustation on your skin and body. This phenomenon, although gradual, is well known in Lake Natron, which has earned a macabre reputation for petrifying animals. Birds and bats that become trapped in the lake often succumb to the caustic waters, their bodies preserved by a hard mineral shell over time. This process of mummification and calcification, caused by the soda and salts in the lake, would likely not occur during a brief encounter, but is a chilling reminder of the lake's transformative powers. In the unlikely event that someone were to perish in the lake, their body might become similarly encrusted and preserved. The deadly beauty of Lake Natron While Lake Natron is deadly to many species, it is also home to a variety of life uniquely adapted to survive its harsh conditions. The lake's crimson and pink hues, which vary in intensity depending on the season, are caused by halophilic, 
salt-loving, organisms such as the cyanobacteria spirulina. These microorganisms thrive in the lake's alkaline water and serve as a food source for the lake's population of lesser flamingos, Phoniconeus minor. In fact, Lake Natron is one of the primary breeding grounds for this species, which has developed a unique tolerance to the extreme environment. These flamingos build their nests on the lake's mineral islands, safe from most predators due to the caustic water. They are well adapted to drink the lake's saline water, and their tough skin on their legs protects them from chemical burns that would affect other animals. An otherworldly danger jumping into Lake Natron might sound like a thrilling adventure, but in reality, it is fraught with danger. The lake's unique blend of extreme heat, high alkalinity, and toxic gases makes it a perilous place for humans. From immediate chemical burns to the risk of severe injury from the lake's harsh waters, the experience would likely be unbearable and even life-threatening. For those who dare to venture near Lake Natron, it's best to admire its eerie beauty from a distance. The lake may serve as a sanctuary for flamingos and microbes, but it is no place for human exploration or swimming. The dangers hidden beneath its strikingly beautiful surface are very real.